Okay, uh, first movie time. I was living in the city in the year 2009. I was trying to find a way. Not to lose my lonely mind The recession was upon me My health was slipping away I decided what I needed Was more vegetables every day I did not own land And I was feeling out of luck All I had to grow my own food was my old gray pickup truck This is obviously a project driven by pure logic. Uh, I was living in the city, didn't have any land, kind of wanted an excuse for when friends would call up and want help moving their sofa on, on moving day. Oh, you know, it's weird, there's a kind of a garden in there, there might not be room. Um, but also the, uh, the technology for doing something like, like this had already been invented, green roof technology, a series of cups that can hold water, uh, lightweight soil to promote drainage. Uh, it did raise some eyebrows among the neighbors. But oh, for planting? Yep, yep, yep. What country are you from? <laughs> but, um, <laughs> All in all, it actually only took about a day to get the thing installed. The green roof underlayment, the lightweight soil, a few inches of topsoil and uh, compost, and then seeds and seedlings, and then it was just a matter of moving the truck for street cleaning or driving into the shade on a particularly hot day. And pretty soon, uh, I had a 40 square foot or about one one thousandth of an acre uh, farm uh, <laughs> right outside my uh, apartment. Um, and it actually produced um, so much food that I had to start giving it out. So we started a, a small CSA, kind of a subscription farm, <laughs> where uh, for $20 uh, folks could get admittedly kind of irregular deliveries of uh, <laughs> admittedly tiny amounts of uh, vegetables uh, throughout the growing season. We also uh, sold a very few select uh, fine herbs to discerning uh, chefs. Um, <laughs> and. Uh, we also started learning that we weren't the only people growing food in, in a quirky place. We met people growing food on barges, old baseball fields, uh, rooftops, windows. Um, all of these farms were, were attracting very curious urban dwellers, especially, it turned out, young urban dwellers, uh, many of whom had never seen a vegetable growing before or tasted a freshly grown food, especially out of a, a pickup truck. But a lot of these kids started chiming in with their own suggestions of where they thought it might be a good idea to grow food. And by far the most popular suggestion <laughs> was, the, uh, was the American toilet. Um, uh, you know, which I think is a great, you know, crap farm, or, you know, or <laughs> tastes like crap. Um, Nobody actually planted their toilet, um, unfortunately, but we did get a lot of other uh, submissions to our school garden contest. And uh, this got me thinking, you know, even if farms planted in the backs of pickup trucks or, or rubber boots or, God forbid, toilets um, aren't the, you know, the panacea to solve our epidemics of obesity and type 2 diabetes, I think they do point towards a few kind of missing ingredients in the conversation about our food. The first being um, a sense of humor and, and, uh, and a spirit of, of levity. That can, uh, that can help alleviate some of the overwhelming feeling of, of working on, on issues that can be uh, filled with rather depressing statistics. Um, the other is just the spirit of creativity and playful inventiveness embodied by these quirky farms on rooftops and in, in windows that I think uh, have the promise, along with the humor factor, to engage a lot more young people in the conversation about how we grow food and in the project of reimagining uh, how we might grow food in the future. And it's in this spirit uh, also that we're launching our latest bad idea, which is to start 25 truck farms in 25 uh, cities around the country, um, each one a little kind of traveling island of humor and fresh food and 
and creativity, not, of course, feeding the world in any appreciable way, but maybe uh, fueling the imagination of, of young people who, who really will. I want to leave you, uh, because I know there are some skeptics out there still about the kind of economic viability of, of urban agriculture. This is a sneak peek of my 2011 truck farm business plan uh, that I've been working on, which revolves around uh, the world's most expensive spice that I've grown a, a test plot of uh, in the truck. One, two, three, four. Truck farm, truck farm. Don't you think I need a truck farm? Truck farm, truck farm. Don't you think it's time to plant a truck farm? Truck farm, truck farm. Time to figure out how to build a truck farm. Plan. Truck farm, Plan. truck farm. It's time to drill some holes in my pickup truck. Wish me luck. Thank you.